In this video, I am going to be talking to you about, I wrote it down because I just wanted to make sure you guys got it, the biggest money scams that people fall for that I see as an attorney. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Yeah, I see it so often that I felt like I would just make a video about it. And these are not in any particular order. The first one that I wanna talk about is gift cards. And usually it's for some product or service or they're just your friend. They're just somebody who reached out to you on social media. They've started having conversations with you and now they want you to send them gift cards for whatever reason. And trust me, they will come up with some reasons that sound legitimate. Most of them aren't if you ask follow-up questions. And once you send those gift cards, you are out of that money. It is gone. It is not yours anymore. So I see that one a whole lot. A second one that I see a whole lot has to do with prizes. And it's, you have won $150,000 or you have won, you know, $750,000. They don't make it too much because they don't want to raise your suspicion. So they make it low enough to make you want it, but not high enough that you go, well, why haven't I heard about this on TV? Is this a lottery? Like my state lottery? Is that what this is? So they don't go that high, but they tend to make it something that most people would be willing to send some money to cover the shipping and handling or the wiring costs or international fees so that they can get the money. And so they'll tell you, we need you to send it via PayPal or Zelle. You guys, once that money is gone, it is gone. You will not get any prize money back. There's no lottery. Nobody's coming to your house to give you one of those big, huge checks. It's not happening. That's money scam number two. Money scam number three is when you get that call or that email saying that there is an arrest warrant out for you. Most people get highly upset when they get that particular one because they're just like, oh my God, did I do something? What happened? I don't want to get arrested. My neighbors will see if the sheriff shows up, the police come, they're going to have all these cars. They're going to take me away. I'm going to be like in handcuffs. I'm going to be in jail. I'm going to lose my job, my house and all this stuff starts going through people's minds because they've gotten this call from this person on the phone saying, hey, if you don't send us the money to pay the court fees on the civil fines that are associated with this, then the sheriff will be forced to come to your house and arrest you. People will send that money so fast because they do not want all of those other things to happen to them. But that is like a big money scam. I think I've gotten that one before. I think I had that one sent to me one time and I was just like, I'm sorry, who are you with again? Which sheriff's department did you say? And they hung up really fast. Number four has to do with the methods of payment. People are trying to get you to send them money via like Zelle especially. That is the biggest one I've seen lately. And sometimes PayPal, but less PayPal now. People are more interested in taking your money away from you via Zelle. And a lot of people feel like it is a legitimate company and it is, but it is set up for exchange of funds between people who know each other, close friends or family. They're thinking you already have a relationship with this person and therefore, hey, come use our platform to make this transfer of money. Once it's gone, it is gone. Number five, warranties. They call you up and tell you, hey, your car warranty just expired, your computer warranty just expired. And they'll say, you know, in order for us to go ahead and keep you covered, here's how much it's gonna cost to extend it for another year. Ask questions because usually you only have to ask two or three questions before you really understand that this is a person trying to scam you. First question would be, I'm sorry, which vehicle of mine are you trying to get me to buy this extended warranty for. Okay, if they don't know the vehicle, that's a red flag right there. But a lot of this information is public now. And some of these scam artists are really good and they have done their homework. So they may know what kind of vehicle you have. So then you might wanna say, hey, so I'm sorry, so um, where was this vehicle purchased from? because that generally is not public knowledge. When you purchase your vehicle, you're usually going to purchase the warranty at that particular dealership where you purchased the car from. So, hey, 
I get my Ford Explorer, which is what I'm seeing as I look out the window here. I get my Ford Explorer, got it from the dealer. Of course they wanna sell you add-ons. Would you like a warranty with that purchase? And you're like, well, yeah, you know, I think so. Let me go ahead and get that two-year warranty. You know where you purchase that warranty from or whether or not you even purchased the warranty. You would be surprised how often people try to sell you warranties and you go, you know what, but I never had a warranty on the vehicle. So no, I'm not buying your extended <laughs> warranty for a warranty I never had. That's it. Those are some of the five biggest money scams that I see that separate people from their money so often. You would not believe how many times a month I hear of these and it, uh, it just amazes me. Gift cards, prizes, and using you know a payment processor where they can't go back and where you can't go back and get the money, those are the biggest ones. So you guys stay sharp in 2022, keep your money in your pocket <laughs> and away from those scam artists and um, let's make this the best year ever. If you have been scammed, Put yours in the comments here and let me know how you handled it, whether or not you fell victim to it or whether or not you were able to rise above it because you asked the right questions. My name's Sheila. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and mwah, peace. Light it up, light it up.